Another day, another chicken schnitzel, am I right? Today we are wandering around the town, we're gonna go for some lunch. And this is the most scenic toilet in Skiathos. We found this by accident and then a load of people told me to go here. <laughs> this is the view from the toilet. We are just trying to decide where to go for dinner tonight. But there are so many beautiful streets with little restaurants down them. We screenshotted about 10 different ones and I think we're gonna come back later. This was where we were the other day. Maria's pizza, which was amazing. Oh, hello. Can uh, we face going up this hill? No. Does it have to be done? Yes. There were so many nice little restaurants in town, down the side streets and stuff, and we just had a quick look at some of them that look nice on TripAdvisor, screenshotted a few. We're gonna go back this evening. For now, we've just come back on the bus. It is so hot today. I reckon it's about 30. Yeah. But it feels so much hotter because it's just like no cloud, direct sun, it's quite humid. Very humid. And I think we're just going to chill by the pool for a couple hours and then head back into town for dinner. So, in the end, we came back here, didn't do anything. We were both so hot and so tired that James had a nap. I was going to go to the pool, but honestly, like, it was just so hot and I was so tired and I think we were both actually quite dehydrated because we'd just been walking around all morning in the sun and it was just a bit much. So we just chilled for a little bit and we were gonna go back into town but both of us have agreed that we're just too tired. So we're just gonna walk down to a taverna called Avli, which was the one that we went to on our first night and it was really nice food. So we're just gonna go there and then we might go for a little walk on the beach. So yeah, we're just having a much more chilled evening than anticipated. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Kukunaras, which is a beach that's a little bit further down and apparently it's beautiful and I think we'll probably eat there tomorrow and watch the sunset and stuff tomorrow from there. And then on Sunday, we'll probably go into town for some food. But today we're just gonna chill. It's so much more stunning on my camera. You can see so much more. Hiya. Uh, yeah. We are ending our evening with a little stroll along the beach in the moonlight. We had a lovely meal at Avli and it was actually really sad because the food is so good but we were the only people in there. So we stayed for, we had three courses. We had starters made and dessert and they gave us dessert on the house and we just felt really bad. How We actually ended up going to the bar, had a couple drinks, and we've just decided to come back to our room and play some cards on the balcony because who doesn't want to play cards on holiday? Sure does. Phew. Oh. That's a lucky escape. Oh. You, you would have won anyway. What did you have? Oh. Oh, damn. So we've had a pretty chill day just at the pool pretty much and just chilling, swimming, sunbathing, eating food from the bar and we were going to go to Kukunaras tonight to watch the sunset but it's looking quite cloudy outside so we decided that we weren't going to go and then we got all ready to go into town and then we looked out the window and it's not really cloudy anymore but I think we're just going to go there tomorrow instead um, and we're going to go to one of the restaurants in town that we planned to go to the other night. Um, so yeah, that's the current plan and what we're going to do. I did my hair in these like heatless waves, which I did a little TikTok video of, but it actually worked really well. And I love my dress today. I've been waiting to wear this dress all holiday. So hopefully Jen can get a couple pictures of me in it. <laughs> Let's go into town. Outfit featuring cat meow. Hello. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, this looks so yummy. We're in a cute little restaurant down one of the side streets. What have you got, James? I've got the pork. XXL steak thing. That is pretty XXL. It's massive. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. And I went for a steak. Oh, I love this little hat. It doesn't look real. We have had a lovely dinner. We've made a couple of purchases, which I'll show went you. Went to that amazing jewellery yeah, store. Yeah, so If so you ever come gorgeous. to Skiathos, you need to go to that jewellery store. Pan jewellery. Pan jewellery. So beautiful. Beautiful. So this is like the main sort of waterfront port bit where all the boats are for the day trips and this was the boat that we went on the Mamma Mia cruise. We just walked along some of these local handmade stalls which is by all the boats and we're just gonna have a little stroll I think. 
So we're back in the hotel. We had such a lovely evening. James is just on the, like just outside talking to his family on Zoom. I thought I'd just show you what we got today because we got a few bits in town from the different local businesses and stuff. And just cause, well, we wanted a few souvenirs and everyone had a bit of like a rough year last year with COVID because there wasn't really any tourists. And so, yeah, we just wanted to support a few local businesses, really. We had such a lovely meal. It's probably one of the best meals that we have, we have had on this trip. The first thing that I got, I got myself a ring, which is, come on, focus, this one here, which is from a shop called Pan Jewelry, which I absolutely love. Just this one with like the little um, eyes and then the little gems on it, which I'm gonna wear under this ring. And then we did get these rings the other day. Um, just like a classic Greek ring from a shop in town, which is just like silver. And so I have a few new additions to my rings. And then this one is from Regal Rose. This one's from Regal Rose. This one here is from Clarity Diamonds by Amy. But I feel like that looks really cute as a little stack. I've just chucked everything onto the bed behind me. We got um, a couple of gifts for our family from this shop, which is called Mermie's Treasures. So her Instagram is on there. She did say that she has an Instagram and she was thinking of setting up an Etsy shop, but she had some really lovely little bits, which I'm not going to show you because they're all like gift wrapped up, but it was just like some wooden handmade signs. One of them that was in the shape of a fish that says welcome, which is for me and James. And then we got one for his parents as well. And we also got a little Christmas decoration, just as like a little memory from Skiathos. And then everything else I put in this bag. So my ring came in this little bag. It is a silver ring, which is gold plated and it was 26 euros, I think. And it came in a little box as well. And then James also got himself a signet ring, which is like a really nice one. Um, as like a little treat to himself, which I think was like 70 something euros, which again was silver, but he's getting it resized. So we have to go back on Thursday, but that was also really nice. We got some little bracelets from this shop that was called Julieta gift shop. And um, we just got a few different bracelets for some friends and he, he individually wrapped all of them, bless him. And then the ones that me and James got, also he gift wrapped them as well, even though they were for us. And we got a little bracelet each. So I went for this one, which I thought was really pretty. It's just like black and then like this gold and silver sort of rope, which is sparkly. And then James just got this like really um, thin sort of basic rope bracelets we got those we also got a little magnet you know what i might have to split these scaffold yeah, vlogs into two vlogs because there's quite a lot of footage we got this fridge magnet as well and everything was handmade and we just thought like the guy in there was really really nice and really sweet so we thought you know what let's get a fridge magnet as well we did get a couple of bits for james's sister which i'm not going to show you because it's for her birthday and this vlog is probably going to go up before her birthday but i did get some earrings like some sort of traditional greek earrings i really liked these ones that were in the window <laughs> and i felt so bad because i said to the lady i was like oh i'd love to get those ones in the window and they were like hoops about the same size as this but in this design and they were gold but i thought they were going to be gold plated <laughs> they were solid gold and she was like oh yeah that, that will be 450 euros i was like ah a little bit much and so i didn't get those but i thought because she was such a nice lady we had to buy something from the shop so we got a gift for james's sister and then i got these which i think are really sweet they're just like little yeah just like traditional little greek earrings i had to go to the pharmacy to get some antihistamines and some cream because i've got an infected mosquito bite which happens to me every single time i always have some kind of reaction to mosquito bites and they swell up to about this big not fun and i looked down at my ankle and i was like oh my ankle feels really hot i looked down and i was like oh my god so we went to the pharmacy i'm hoping it will heal before we fly back home that was everything that we got it was such a lovely evening in town i'm probably gonna end this here and tomorrow we're going to kukunara's so i'll see you then well, so excuse my ugly feet but like this is normal ankle <laughs> this is my other ankle look at it that is bad it is so infected also guys look at this one on the back of my leg that is not normal what is this it looks like a jellyfish anyway good night today we have decided to go for a hike <laughs> <laughs> in the sun although it was raining a minute ago so we sat in the cafe for a little bit the cafe like the bar at the, the hotel bar. and mm. we've just decided to set off it does look like it's going to be a bit stormy yeah, it's, 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 but it's gonna be thunderstorms. we thought we would risk it which might be a bad idea but we'll see <laughs> we're actually quite high up that was a little steep that we went up. It doesn't look that high on camera, that's the thing, but we're like in the hills. This is so cool. I know it's completely different, but this reminds me a lot of the 
Hollywood sign hike in LA. Probably because I'm sweaty and dehydrated. But this is beautiful. That's a little bit freaky. There is a load of birds up there circling a particular area. Which I think means that there is probably a dead animal up there. Lovely stuff. Eee. Why did we not do this sooner? It's the sea. It just keeps getting better. Well, I guess it would the higher we climb. So we accidentally went the wrong way and we got to a gate that says do not enter and there's a picture of a dog. So I think we're gonna go back this way. Not a bad view. We can pretty much see the whole of the island. The contrast of the weather is actually mad. This side of this hill is beautiful blue skies. And then you turn around over here and it is a massive storm cloud. I think we went the wrong way, or if we didn't go the wrong way, it was just way too long and it's really hot. So we are coming back down and the storm is actually completely blown over now. And that probably would have been a much nicer view from the top with the blue sky, but you can kind of see the sea over there. And we're heading back down. Hello everybody, we're back from our hike that went a bit wrong but we had some beautiful views it was lovely and it's actually now completely stopped with the rain there was no storm in the end it just kind of blew over and now it's just like sunny and blue skies so we are going to head down to Kukunara's beach and watch the sunset maybe do a sunset swim we're going to get some food down there and yeah i'm really excited also just while we've been chilling in the hotel room i redid my fake tan just because i bought like a little mini saint tropez one with me which was like the one hour express tan but my legs have definitely got a natural tan because it doesn't normally go this dark but i am very 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 excited to go to this beach because it is supposed to be beautiful and you know what the best bit about doing these like travel vlogs or like vlogs when i'm on holiday is that I can look back on the memories later, like me and James have these memories to look back on and also as well I just zoomed with my family, my parents and my brother and they were asking me all about the trip and I was like you know what I filmed it so I can just show you when I get home and I can do sort of like a little summary of the trip which I really love and yeah I like I like vlogging when I'm away. So we've just got to Kukunara's and I think we're on the opposite end of the beach to where we want to be so we're just gonna have a little wander down and see if there's a better spot to watch the sunset. Choppier today. Slight change of plan. We realised when we got there that it was the wrong beach and we were supposed to go to Big Banana, so we are now there now. No idea where we are, but let's see where it comes out. Wow. I don't think it's very good because of the case, but this is the most stunning sunset I've ever seen. Look at all that. Look at this. <laughs> that was well worth the run down here. So we actually ended up having a bit of a fail. There is literally no one here on this part of the beach. There's a couple of people that are just around the corner, but we're pretty much the only people here right now. We got to Kukunara's and realized that the sun, like it wasn't the best place to watch the sunset because there was a big sort of like part of the hill in the way and the sunset was setting, setting like slightly around the corner. So then we Googled it and realized that Banana Beach is the one that everyone says to come to to watch the sunset because the sun is literally there like it literally sets right in front of you and so we went on google maps and realized it was like a it said 16 minute walk we had to run up this hill run around all these little roads run back down a hill and onto the beach and we got here just in time for the sunset james is still swimming there he is but honestly that is the most stunning thing i've seen probably in my whole life i've got no idea where we go now and where we're gonna go for dinner but to be honest i don't really care because that it was worth it. Hey friends. Oh. <laughs> hey 
guys, where are you off to? Yeah, the dog tags on. They do, but why are they just running around the roads? It's probably their back garden. <laughs> <laughs> But we just had a lovely meal at a restaurant called Kukunari. Yes. It was spelt with a C instead of like the beach, but it was absolutely lovely. So we've just got back to our room. We've been to the bar. We had a couple of drinks, but we're going to go to bed now because we've got a boat trip tomorrow. Kalinita. Kalinita. Today we're going on a boat trip. Just the two of us, I think. We think it's going to be just the two of us. And um, we're going to go around lots of the different beaches, around Skiapos. And um, we can't bloody wait. Hello, tiny kitten. This is a private villa. Someone built it oh, like this wow. one. Uh, and oh, up wow. the hill. But he's made, he's made all this way here. It's also made like a parking for the boat. He's obviously put a lot of money in this. Yeah. A lot of money. Where the town used to be. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, yeah, you can see. There's a few there as well. Oh yeah. Oh, it's okay. I'm on neutral. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but here is the cave that, uh, like, one of the most famous authors that, uh, like, Muscatus wrote about in one of his, mm. uh, like, books, spoken go, like, pretty uh, far inside. Oh. Have one by yourself. <laughs> oh, this is stunning. Definitely gonna need some after sun. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's so secluded. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sort of like frightening a bit because you don't know what's underneath. Chain on the front, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so stunning. We've just got back from our boat trip and it was absolutely amazing. It was such a good day. We went with a company called, was it GR, GR Boat, boat Rental. Rental, which we got down from Collios, which are barman he actually sorted it all out for us and it was 250 euros which for what we got was amazing because we had the boat and a skipper between 11 a.m and 5 p.m he took us round basically all of the beaches these like little secluded beaches we went back to lalaria we went to um sugria we went to all of these like little 
small beaches that you can only get to via boat and it was absolutely amazing so if you are coming to Skiathos I highly recommend you can rent the boat without the skipper which is obviously cheaper um, but I definitely recommend doing it some way or another because it was absolutely amazing oh the town is so pretty at night we are on our way to dinner we're in my charity shop dress what dip is that? it's like a tomato dip lovely this restaurant is beautiful oh, this looks Delicious. That is the end of my second Skiathos vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. There is going to be three vlogs because I still had like 50 minutes of footage. So there will be one final vlog, which will probably be up in the next few days. But I hope you guys enjoyed the second one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.